Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to show you how to organize your exercise routine and show you what's inside my gym bag. Uh, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can check out my website Alejandra.tv for more videos and tips on how to get organized and live a more organized and productive life. Okay, so when it comes to exercising and working out and stuff, I love to use checklists to track my, um, like, you know, track the days I work out and stuff to keep me motivated so I can, like, visually see progress and then use that as motivation to continue being consistent with exercising. And so the way I do that is I use a uh, checklist to check off all the days that I work out. But I don't use checks, I use stickers because that's just more fun. So um, this is the side of the fridge right here, and I have my tracker right here and then I have Ed's tracker right here and um, I'm just going to go through and show you like how we use the trackers. So um, these are trackers that are available on my website Alejandro.tv. I'll put the link below um, and you can check them out. But basically I just typed all of the um, like the days inside the boxes um, for the entire year and then there's January through June on the first sheet and then there's July through December on the second sheet. Now technically I could just like you know uh, if it's July, I could just have this checklist like just on the fridge and then take this one down. But I like to see my progress, so I like to see like, oh, I was so good the first half of the year. So I like to just keep that here to remind myself that I've been good, I've been consistent, and just like keep pushing forward because I have a hard time working out and just like pushing myself. So that really helps me. Okay, so um, so then I use stickers each t like each day I work out. And I'm just going to go through and show you the stickers that I use because I change them each month, like according to the season or the holiday, because I feel like that's just more fun. Like it's like every month I look forward to like, oh, it's July. I get to switch the sticker to like a red, white and blue star as opposed to using all the suns I used in June. It just like keeps me motivated. Uh, all right. So in January, I use snowflakes because it snows in January. In February, I use hearts, and they're all like different color hearts because, you know, it's Valentine's Day. It's the month of love. In March, I use uh, clovers for St. Patty's Day. In April, I use raindrops because, you know, like April showers bring May flowers. So in May, I use color-coded flowers. And then in June, I use suns because it's like, you know, at the beginning of summer, it's always sunny. And then in July, so July I was planning to do um, like rainbow beach balls. Those are, you know, I found these stickers and they're so cute. But then I found red, white, and blue stars. So when July comes, I'm gonna switch them to red, white, and blue stars. And then in August, I'm gonna move the beach ball to August because I'm really excited about the beach ball. It's just pretty and you still go to the beach in August. And then in September, uh, there's footballs because uh, it's the beginning of football season, back to school. There's also these little um, heart stickers, or not heart, apple stickers. So, you know, if you're in school, apples are more appropriate. In October, there's fun pumpkins for Halloween. November, there's leaves, you know, because it's fall and leaves fall. And then in December, there's snowmen because, you know, it snows and you make a snowman and stuff. So yeah, those are the stickers. And then on Ed's version, um, he has, his hearts are different. And then in June, he has um, tennis balls because he used to play tennis and you know, you play in the summer. And then in, for December, he has like the male version of the snowman. So there was like female stickers and there was male stickers. So he has the male version. Um, but yeah, it's just fun to use stickers. And then what I do for, um, like I track when I do weight training and then I track when I do cardio because I like to balance the two. So I'll just put a little T uh, for the days that I do weight training so I know that's training. And then if there's no T, then that means I did cardio, um, like running or elliptical or something. So yeah, that's how I track that. And then I keep all of the stickers uh, inside this little poly envelope that's on the fridge right here. It's an adhesive poly envelope, so, and it's actually like removable. So I could take this envelope and I could move it somewhere else and it's still going to be sticky on the back and it's still going to restick. But they're all right here and then I have, um, you know, markers for writing down the T's here. And then I also write down, like, when I, when I travel or when I'm sick, my workout schedule is, like, so up and down. When I'm sick, I don't work out. I just rest. And so, like, this past winter, I was sick twice and it took, like, a week and a week and a half out of me. So I wrote down sick on here because you know, then if I look back, I'm not going to remember that I was sick, and then I see I was inconsistent, so I read a note to, I guess, like, make myself feel better. <laughs> and then the same thing with travel. 
Uh, so yeah, that goes here. And then, was there anything else I was gonna say about it? Oh, and then I labeled Alejandra and then Ed, and I used a clear label with black font so I could still see the border right here. Okay, then uh, let me show you what's inside my gym bag. So to go to the gym, I just use this, um, it's like a beach pool duffel bag, or not duffel bag, drawstring bag. And it's from Vera Bradley. I've had this thing for 10 years. It's actually, I looked it up online because I was like, what is this pattern called? And it's from 2004 and I forget what the pattern's called, but um, like it's still holding up so well. And it's just like the perfect size. When I go to the gym, I don't like to carry too many things because I'm just there to work out. I'm not, you know, carrying so many things. And a lot of times I'm coming straight from home. Okay, so um, I have my water bottle inside and then I have my, um, my iPod, which is all, yeah, there's my iPod, that's in there. And then I have um, my lock for the locker. I have a ponytail holder. I have, um, you know, medication. So I always reuse these little bottles. They're like the travel size bottles, I'll just refill them. I never throw these things out. Um, and then I have feminine care. I have a headband, ponytail holder. And then I have these workouts. So I got these workouts from a trainer for the days that I do cardio. So where's the other one? The days that I do cardio. And she gave me the workouts on like, you know, a regular eight and a half by 11 size computer paper. And for a while I, was take, I would take that and I would just keep it in front of me on the elliptical. And like, you know, you're moving all fast and stuff and like the wind is blowing. So the paper would always fly away. So I was like, well, let, let me just, let me figure out a way so it doesn't fly away. So I got home or I took it home and I transferred it to um, like all the information, the workouts, to Excel or to Word. I color coded it so it was easy to see because when I was on the elliptical, I like everything was black and white and I was going so fast and I couldn't really see the numbers. So I made it all pretty and big and now I can see what I'm doing and it doesn't fly away because it's laminated so it's kind of weighted down by the plastic of the lamination. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but um, yes, yeah, so there's two workouts. There's a 38 minute workout and then there's a 30 minute workout. And so I just put these on the elliptical and then they help me. And then I also have deodorant in my bag and everything is inside of a little pouch, like all the deodorant, the ponytail holder, the Advil, the headband and stuff. Um, they're just out of the bag right now. And then sometimes if I'm coming from like running errands and going straight to the gym, I will carry like an energy bar in here, like a mini size. I always have like the mini cliff bars. They're like the 100 calorie ones. Um, I'll just keep that in here and then just, you know, eat that before I get to the gym. Um, but yeah, that's what's inside my gym bag. And this is my exercise routine trackers. Um, if you are looking for more tips on getting organized, you can check out my website, all100.tv, and I will put a link to where you can um, download the trackers in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.